Hello, hello! If you want to learn assembly and you're a beginner, lucky you! Because in this video we are going to learn how to translate this C language code into assembly equivalent. And even though it looks pretty simple code, and it is really simple code, understanding how to write it in assembly will be really really great start. So let's begin. And the first two lines of every function in assembly begin like this. So this is basically you have to memorize. And uh, along the way, in later videos, I will explain why is this like this. But even if you don't know, like every assembly language function starts like this. So this is a golden rule. And you just need to know it. Okay, so now let's do the logic stuff. Let's look at the code. So we want A plus B, but we don't have arguments passed here. Or have we? So whenever assembly calls a function, it uh, clears some uh, space in the stack and uh, puts arguments in it and return value. And uh, what we did here is we pushed EBP onto the stack. And if you don't know what stack, really good if you find out somewhere else, googling maybe. Uh, so we push EBP onto the stack uh, and uh, move ESP to EBP, so we can access whatever's in the stack via this EBP. And how it looks in the code, I will show in a second. So, in this stack, uh, this top of this stack is one with the lowest address. So, EBP now, as it is pushed, is at the lowest address. And always above EBP is the return address. So, whenever you call a function, it executes and it has to return somewhere, right? And uh, the return address is stored on the stack here, and because we did push, it is stored above EBP. And uh, that is as, it, as we are in 32 bit machine, I'm calling for 32 bit machine. Uh, we are doing assembly for 32 bit. The, so the uh, one uh, location above, so that's 4 bytes above, because 32 bits are 4 bytes, so one address above will be 4 bytes above. So 4 EBP plus 4 is this address. And EBP plus 8 is this address. But we don't really need pluses here, because this is EBP plus, and this is, and this is B, so what I'm doing is uh, our return address is stored one above EBP, and our uh, first argument is stored above return, and the second argument is stored above first address. So it's left to right from bottom to up. And that's uh, how the compiler does it. And Whenever you write, it's your business how you do it, but that's pretty good practice. So, now, what we do? So, how do we access, and if everything's been vague so far, don't worry, it will make sense soon. And uh, what we do now is, we need to, to somehow access this A variable. So we pretty much haven't even started implementing. So we need to access A to somehow add it to B. So to do that, this is what we do. So we move L dollar sign eight register EBP comma let it be EAX. And now I will explain this line of code. So, whenever in the move L, so what does the move do it? So, a move for move, 
uh, the source is this first operand and destination is the second from so whatever stored here after this line will be stored here so you can look at this, at this in C equivalent would be like EAX EAX equals something but it's vice versa kind of first is the source and the second is the destination so this is our source and this is our destination now why did I put dollar sign 8 and uh, EBP in uh, parentheses so I'll let's explain that now so whenever you do this kind of syntax so how does assembly uh, interpret it so whatever's in the uh, stored as typed as do with dollar sign and 8 is basically an immediate value so just a number basically it is not a register not a memory address uh, not nothing it's just a number so dollar sign number have we here and uh, in the parentheses we have the content of EBP and as we moved ESP to the EBP so this is a stack pointer so this holds the address of the last pushed element so uh, but as we moved it to the EBP and EBP is here also and it has address and, and in the assembly we have it with address EB, ESP so it kind of points to itself so this address of EBP plus 8 brings us to A so by putting in parentheses instead of accessing whatever is stored in the register we access the memory address pointed by register so let's say this has like 0x and fffffff something and if this one has this uh, place in memory in stack has Z address it will come here so Z address plus 8 brings us to A so you can kind of look at it as the referencing if you are good with pointers in C and what does this 8 do with EBP so before it gets the reference before we access information from the stack 8 gets added to the uh, to our pointer so EBP plus 8 and then the reference so we will that way we access A so this holds A and A is then moved to EAX so I hope that finally made sense so now in EAX we have A finally we accessed our Int integer first argument so now let's access B the second argument and I hope you got the point so we move all dollar sign now this time 12 and sorry for my great punctuation or whatever it is so this is our 12 now comma EBP comma no it was parentheses <laughs> and EDX so that's pretty much the basic true instructions so now we have EAX holds A and EDX holds B great we finally retrieved our two arguments uh, so what I want to explain now is next why am I writing all after our moves the thing is uh, the data type pretty much so we have one byte that is one byte we have word that is two bytes and we have all which is four bytes 
or aka long board and we also have quad board but that's for uh, 64 bits architecture so in case of 32 bit Movo L is the largest size you can move so if we had to move 2 bytes instead of L we would have written um, move W but in this case we have an integer right and integer is 4 bytes so we are using all and so that's behind the reason why we use all and also another thing even though we have register called EAX so that is the entire register that has 32 bits in it but if you would type AX AX oh I'm such a great at writing so if we had e, just AX, we would access only the lower half six, 16 bits. So let's say, uh, let's divide this like this. And let's say the entire thing here is 32 bits. This is our, let this be our register. So this 32 bit stuff is EAX. And the uh, 16 bit stuff is AX, and this part is a hash, which means a higher part, and this part is a lower part, and this is upper 8 bits, and this is lower 8 bits. So this would have cleared why we use L here. So basically, in rule of thumb with just two words, if you are using a register started with E, you just need to move uh, use L here, and that's pretty much it. So let's get to back. Uh, so we got our A, and we got our B. Now what we do next? We need to add them, right? So how do we do that? It's pretty simple. So we write add and L again. So not only with moving, with pretty much every instruction with uh, sized operands, we need to specify what is the size of our operands. So we move register, no we don't move, we add register edx to register EAX and uh, as we remember this is the source and EAX is the destination not only with move with every instruction the first operand is the source and the second is destination so EDX is added to EAX hence EDX stays unchanged it's the same as it was and EAX is updated so that's pretty much it. We have our A plus B. And now how do we return? Well, the very important thing here is that EAX is a special register. So, uh, as a machine knows that it sh should expect uh, the return value in the EAX. So, once your return value is in the EAX, you're done. Uh, so we just need to get back now to where this thing was called. And to, to do that first we need to pop our EBP. And uh, move EBP to the ESP. However I think even without this, in this case, everything would have worked because we did not push anything. But in case we did, ESP would have been updated. So, and and just in this case, this is fixed and this is fixed. So the, all the logic was here. 
implementation of this is here. So, and just one line is left. Red. And red, just red. Not all, not anything, red. And it returns to where this function was called. So, in this video, we did translate this C code into assembly code, and uh, we learned how to access values stored on this stack, how to move uh, stuff from uh, memory to registers, and why there is this L here, we did also learn that, and how to add a uh, thing register to register and the, the most importantly just remember this is the source this is destination but in different there are many C languages no assembly languages uh, in some there are different for example for Intel but in this case that's how it is so you could uh, now pretty much practice you can came up with your expression here and do your practice and thanks for watching hope you learned something and I hope you'll become a great engineer one day